Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use InDesign to uh, format your book. You can see this is on the Create Space PDF that if your pages are between 24 to 150, your inside margin, your gutter, is going to be 0.375 inches, and your outside margin on all of these is 0.25 inches. Um, this is because, as it says right here, the bigger your book, the more space you're going to lose on the inside. Um, because you have all those pages that are taking up part of your space for writing. So, what I like to do is most of my books are going to be about 24 to 150 pages. Um, the coloring books, I, di I didn't want anything to be in the margin at all because I want them to be able to tear the pages out. So, I made all my inside margins um, 0.5 inches. So, let's go open up InDesign. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. File, open, you're going to open a new document. And you get this little document preset coming up. I want to say I'm going to have like 40 pages in my book, so we're going to change the number of pages to 40. Okay, facing pages just means that when you open the book, you have text on one side and text on the other. Um, the size of the book is going to be the letter, but you can change it right here. And you can put in um, inches and it'll automatically change it. But I'm not going to do that because it's already set up to letter. So this is eight and a five, eight and a half inches and um, 11 inches wide. One column, the gutter is 1.6. This has been changed to um, 0.5 inches. So if you had put this right here and you don't know like 1p6, you don't know what that is, just put in 0.5 inches. Hit enter, you get this spinny wheel of death. But it will, it will have changed it. And we can go up here, and if you decide to change the size of it at any time, you go up here to document precepts, define, and that will pop back up. And you just go to edit, okay, and see how it changed by 0.5 inches to 1p6. So you can do it in inches if you don't know, and it will change it for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is put in the owl picture that I made. So I'm just going to go over here to Finder, Downloads. Here's my Mandela um, Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to drag it over here. Okay, now you can see that it's going to fit perfectly. I just grab it and move it around. This tool right over here, it looks like the box with the dots around it. That's the free transform tool. It's just like the free transform tool in Photoshop. You can take it and drag the edges of this and make it whatever size you want. I'm going to drag this corner, make it a little bit smaller. Okay, I like to stay, these are my margin lines. I like to stay within the margin lines just a little bit. I can make this a little bit larger. I can move it over like right here, just a little bit. There we go. So that should be good. Now, these are all the, my 40 pages that I said that I wanted in the beginning. But that is right there. If I wanted to go and do like page seven, I'll click on that. Page seven, see the page numbers down here, page seven. This is page seven. I don't want to put anything on this page right here because I'm making a coloring book. So I just want things on this page because this page, the back of page eight, the back of page seven is page eight. And if I wanted them to tear it out, I just want it um, on one side. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you want to add a page, you go right here to create a new page. It'll add pages for you if you want to delete a page. You go right here, delete select a page. Also, if you want to go up here and edit your picture, you click on it, and then you might have a layer on it. So you can click this arrow, and all your layers will show up. And this is the PDF that I had. So I can click right here, and now I'm able to edit this again. I can delete it. I can add it back on. I can tilt it. I can do whatever. If you hit Control on the free transform tool, It'll show you right here. You can transform it, you can scale it, move it around, you can rotate it. This is another scale tool. You can take off part of it. 
there's just a lot of different things that um, you need to know how to do. Also, let me show you right here. Just grab a page. Sometimes you might want to do your text in uh, InDesign as well. I did a lot of my text, my, all my text for the Create Space um, Ponder Monster book on here, and I wanted to use a font that was good for kids with dyslexia to read. So you go over here to the T, this is the text box, click it, you're going to make a text tool, I mean a text um, area. Well, I need to do that. Okay, so let's say. I'm having trouble with my computer this morning. Okay. Okay, say I want to put text right here. You can just go in and type. Okay. So then you can go up here, and this will show you right up here. This is all the stuff you can do to edit your text. You can edit your font right here. You can make it look like however you want it. Okay, you can change the font size. Um, you can do italic, bold, whatever you would like to do right here. Um, let's see. Okay, right here is another way you can do it. Italic, you can just change like the, the um, slant of it, the angle of it. See how it's moving further over? Okay. Um, anyway, that's how you can do that. You can um, left justify it, you can center, you can right justify, you can do all of that stuff up here. So, that is um, how you can insert text and images into an InDesign document. Now, when you get ready to export it, you're going to go up here to File. I always save an InDesign copy. So, you would save a copy right here, just like you normally would. You're going to go back up to File. And you're going to want to export it as a PDF. But first, you need to change your Adobe PDF preset. And that is because when you um, export it, you still want it to be really high quality so that your images stay at the 300 dpi for Create Space. So I'm going to go up here and put it on PDF. Um, and I'll do the 4 2008 right here. Okay, so I'm going to make sure it's pretty good. You can do press quality. I've, I've not done that. Um, from everything I've heard, this, this is fine. So, you're going to do the done, and then when you go up here, you're just going to say export. And then it will automatically save it as a PDF. Okay, so... Well, well, first you have to pick PDF. Uh, PDF print, because you're going to do a print book. The quality for print will be good. And then you just click Save. And that's all you have to do. And then you just will import your PDF file into CreateSpace. CreateSpace, um, you do not have to have your cover attached. You just have all the text. Another thing you're going to want to do is at the beginning of your book, before page one, let's add some pages here. Okay, let's move this one. You can drag it down. Let's drag it down one more. On this first page, you're going to want to put a title page. So you're going to take your text box, put it right here, put Title page and there. You're going to format this. Of course, you want it to be larger and you want it to be in the middle of your page. So that's how you do that. And then you'll want to go down to the next page. So we want to go right here. I'll show you how to do this layers. I'm going to click this box. Just hit delete. Delete, delete. Okay, then you're gonna go over here and you're gonna put like your copyright page. So you put copyright. Um, 
look like a type this morning. 2015. Jenna Dare. All rights reserved. So you can put whatever you want to, but make sure that you have, you know, a copy page and some stuff like that on there. Also, if you have a table of contents, you'll want to put that like on your third page. Um, and then export it and you can import it into Create Space. That's really all you have to do. And I will try to make another video showing you how to upload everything to Create Space. It's really self explanatory, but um, I'm sure people will want to know how to do that. Thanks for watching.